Hey guys, I'm here to get you guys started with setting up your hero board on a Windows machine. We'll need to install a total of two things. Um, the first one will be the uh, drivers so that we can talk to the hero board over the USB. And the second thing we'll need is the IDE so that we can write code and upload that said code to the board over the USB. If you're using anything other than Windows, uh, check the links below um, because this video doesn't apply to you. And let's get started with installing on this computer side. So to start off, I'm going to open the web browser and I'm going to go to inventor.io slash downloads. Now on the downloads page, it's going to have a link for PC and Mac drivers. And since we're using Windows, I'm going to install the Windows drivers and you can get those from this link here. Um, I will do so. And I'm going to download the Windows Inventor USB drivers from uh, the link. And then I will open them on the Windows machine and it will install what is necessary to talk to the board. And you should see a the drive is successfully pre-installed in advance pop-up window setting, meaning that we shouldn't have any issues once we install the IDE to talk directly to the board. If you would like, you can close out of this and then we're gonna install the IDE next and that starts with going to arduino.cc slash download. Once you're on the page, you're gonna to wanna to go down to here where it says Windows um, download options if you're using Windows 7 or newer, which I think most of you would be. Um, you're gonna to wanna to click the link here to install the executable for this. You can click just download. You don't have to uh, donate anything. And the download will begin. And then once it's done, you can, just like the USB installer, you can click this and it should install the IDE. You can just go through by clicking next and then make sure that all this is fine. Click install and it should extract everything and install it as necessary. A few moments later. When you see this pop up, you can just click install. And once again, hit install, install. And that's just installing some of the com uh, port stuff so that the Arduino can locate where the board is or when you want to upload it. I'm going to click close. And now you should have, if I go to the desktop, uh, the Arduino software should be on here. If it's not, you can also just type in Arduino. And if it shows up in the applications, then either way it should work. You can click it from either one. Now here is the blank like setup of the Arduino IDE, which is what you'll be using to upload your code to the board on. So for real quick, just to make sure everything's installed correctly, I'm going to plug in the board and then I'm going to download, I'm going to upload a sample code of blink to the board to make sure that everything is working properly. And to do that, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to file examples. I'm going to go to basics and I'm going to click on the blink file. And then I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to board and make sure that Arduino Uno is selected. And then I'm going to code a port and I'm going to select the COM port that shows up. For mine, it's COM3. If it's not, try something else. Um, you might have another device plugged in somewhere else that it thinks is the USB for some reason. And I'm going to click upload. And now, assuming all works correctly, which it should. It says done uploading. It compiled the code and uploaded it. And now you can see on the board, it blinks on, off, on, off, on, off every second. And you can change that just to confirm that you wrote that. I'm gonna change these variables here from 1000 and 1000 to 100 and 100. And it should, uh, it should blink much, much faster. So I'm gonna re-upload that same code. And there you go. So with that, everything should be installed and talking correctly to the hero board. If yours is not, 
for whatever reason, you did all the steps in this video and it's still not talking to the board, you can either A, leave a comment down below and we can try to help you there, or you can email support at inventor.io and we can try to help you there as well.